Hi, I'm Ed Roth from Stencil One, and as a stencil designer and author of several stencil books, one thing I love to do is stencil t-shirts. I made this shirt using a stencil of an anchor and Pebio set to color fabric paint. This is everything you need to stencil a shirt. Of course, stencils, stencil brushes, spray adhesive to hold your stencil in place, a shipping box to fit your shirt onto. I like these glass plates to pour my paint onto to really control it. And of course you'll need your set to color fabric paint by Pebio. You stretch your t-shirt over a box, not too stretched, just to the fit, so that you have a nice flat surface to stencil on. The next thing you do is use your spray adhesive to lightly spray the back of your stencil and let that dry to a tacky touch, maybe 30 to 60 seconds. Now we're gonna place the stencil exactly where we want the design to appear. In this case, we're centering it right on the front of the shirt. Pour a little out onto the plate. You don't need a lot of paint to cover a full stencil area on your shirt. A little goes a long way. That's the number one tip I have to tell you. In a swirling motion, or if the design has a cut open in it, you could brush it in this way. It really gets it into all the, the open areas of the stencil. I love these paints because they're so rich in color. Once you heat seal this design, you're gonna have a, a long lasting design on your t-shirt. These paints come in a variety of colors, even metallics and day glows. You get the choice of opaque or transparent. And in this case, I'm using opaque, which is a nice solid coverage. And transparent would allow some of your t-shirt texture to actually show through the paint. Uh, maybe you'll go for a vintage look with that choice. So you continue to fill in the entire design in this swirling motion. And then once it's all set, you just check it out, make sure you filled in every area. And you don't have to wait for anything to dry right now. You just lift your stencil. And then you have a perfect t-shirt using a stencil and fabric paint. You can lay the stencil right in the sink. And you just pat it dry and you can use it again. Now you're gonna have to let this air dry and then you're gonna heat seal it with an iron. And I like to put a piece of fabric between the design and the ironing board and iron it to seal that design in. Then you can wash and wear it and it was that easy to stencil a t-shirt. I'm Ed Roth from Stencil One. If you wanna check out more of my designs, go to stencilone.com. And for more information on Pebio products and where they're sold, go to pebio.com.